So, as my chair squeaks, it has come to my attention, actually this happened, uh, I don't know, four or five years ago, but um, it has come to my attention that um, the peanut butter girls and the biracials have something in common. We don't know where the hell we belong. We have some of the most body dysmorphia, uh, just let, hear, hear me out, okay? You know how biracial people, right? They've got a black parent, they've got a white parent, or whatever, right? And they belong to both, but are rejected by both. Or they belong to both, but maybe they identify with one over the other. Or maybe you go someplace and it's like, oh, you know, well, of course you're Korean. I could tell by your facial features. And it's just like, oh, of course you're black. Like how dark you are, right? Uh, just just for an example, you know, because uh, mixed Korean people, for some reason, like they end up, you know, I mean, of course they they run the gamut, but when they're like black and Korean, sometimes they come out nice and chocolatey and it is a beautiful thing to behold. But it obviously distinguishes them from other Korean people. Anyways, this is not about black and Korean people, specifically peanut butter girls or the brown skins who are the in-betweeners. And... Well, yeah, just us, actually. So we get left out of this colorism conversation, right? And sometimes with good reason, because, I mean, like I said, it's like you have the biracial who identifies with their white side or, you know, who may be black but is culturally white. And you have the one who, you know, does everything they can, possibly illegal and and gutter and ghetto because they want to be seen as the most bliggy black thing, right? Um some brown skins, you know, they're on the lighter spectrum of being a peanut butter girl or a brown skin girl. So they're just like, ah, you know, whatever colorism. Hmm. I'm darker than her and doesn't happen to me. So blah, right? Totally gaslight, right? And then you have the ones who are closer to the threshold of dark skin who are just like, you know, totally, I mean, you know, we, we, we tote that DDS, <laughs> Divine Dark Skin Chrissy Magazine, right? Tote it, right? Keeps it on us. Um, there's a chasm there. So many times, here's what I think, right? And this goes back to my whole, why are we like mixed chicks kind of thing, is because um, we get it from both sides. Some of the most controversy that I've been involved in on YouTube is around my skin color, because sometimes I look very pale. Sometimes I look very dark. And people are like, oh, she's bleaching. Oh, she's, you know, filtered. Oh, she's this. So I started opening my camera and the same thing occurred. Sometimes I look bright. Sometimes I look darker. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Because that is the nature of a brown skin, right? Now, I don't mean Beyonce's brown skin girl. We all know the song probably should have been called dark skin girl. But, you know, that can be offensive. So that was just the next best word to say. But that's who she was really trying to shout out. Um, Because it would be wrong to think us brown skins or peanut butter girls, you know, suffer the most. Because in reality, we don't. In reality, there is still privilege attached to our skin. And there is also oppression attached to our skin. We are identifiably black. We are not high yellows, not light skins. But it's like... Like, I can get called light and dark in the same day, in the same day, by two totally different people from two totally different perspectives. Normally, it is a dark-skinned person who refers to me as a light skin, and it is a light-skinned person who, you know, refers to me as dark-skinned, right? Typically, sometimes that is that is mixed up, and it, and it is shocking, but I try to tell people, you know, I'm in the middle, but before... Here's what I would do, right? Because I have this super, 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 super pretty, super smart, super attractive uh, bestie from Somalia. And one time she sat me down and she was just like, um, I need to do some color correction with you. And I don't mean your makeup. You got me messed up if you think you're going to walk around trying to own my plight. You don't go through what I go through. We're not the same color, right? And... I was actually already in my 30s by the time I had that conversation. So she's like, all this time, you really thought you were dark skinned? And I was just like, well, yeah, I mean, I thought I was maybe on the lighter end of it. But she was just like, you know, that, that, that's a goofy. How do, you not, how do you not know what your color is? And I'm just like, I don't know. 
um, I would just go with the feedback that I, that I got, even though a lot of people would call me light skin, but it was ultimately, you know, the color of my mom and sisters is, I guess, what I just subconsciously decided was my own, when in fact, that is really not true. Um, so we get it on both sides. Like, for example, my sisters, if you're talking phenotype, like noses, teeth, skin like like my sisters are better looking than me like I do not apologize I don't I, like like I have beautiful siblings but I have gone somewhere you know with them and it's a room full of black men and I can be the favorite because of my color because of my color I can be the favorite of the three now if we're chilling you know in a place with a bunch of white men my oldest sister, who is also the darkest sister, is going to be the favorite, right? Because in reality, I mean, I, mm, they're, they're actually kind of neck and neck. But I mean, I was going to say in reality, she's the prettiest, but I definitely think um, her, her behavior is kind of neutral. Whereas, you know, my middle sister is a total Sagittarius, so... She's, she's a sister girl, sister girl, okay? Um, whereas, um, anyhow, I don't want to, th- th- it's, it's not supposed to be about my sisters. But what it's supposed to be about is that a lot of times, brown-skinned women, they don't know where they fit into the conversation of colorism because they have that confusion that a biracial child tends toward having. And when we jump into the conversation, it's like, you know, well, who are you? And some of us really are working with like some body dysmorphia kind of thing where we don't know what color we are, where some of us will be like, like people, there were people who convinced me to call myself light skinned and I did. Right. Uh, And of course, you know, the biracials and the high yellows of the world who are the gatekeepers of light skin, you know, they weren't having that. And I'm just like, dude, I don't identify with you anyway. So I'm going back, you know, (laughs) I'm going back to my dark skins. And they're like, bro, no, privilege. I don't think so. There's a distinction here. And so I'm like, oh, hmm, okay. So lately I've been paying more attention to the peanut butter girls. And it was definitely, uh, I think her name is, uh, I thought her name was Tessneem, but I think it's like Crystal Swirls, who was the first person to go on and on about peanut butter girls. And I was just like, yeah, that's, that, that's it. That's why I said that, you know, this isn't just like some revelation. It's something I've been thinking about for years. And I'm like, that's it. That's what we are. That makes sense. And, you know, you have, you know, the black men who think that we're in denial about being dark. And they're just like, oh, you're just a dark skin. If you're not a red bone or a yellow bone, you're just in denial because you hate yourself. And I'm just like, you know, I'm I'm actually we're trying to be fair when we call ourselves peanut butter girls and recognize that we have privilege. But at the same time that we still, you know, suffer from colorism, right? Um, on, on the other end, right? With a lighter skin, this and that, whatever. So I think I'm going to make some content uploading a bunch of brown skins. I mean, obviously, when I say brown skin, you can think of, um, right now, the biggest example is Portia Williams, uh, that is not a dark skinned woman to me. That is a brown skinned woman who will definitely receive privilege, you know, with her skin color over a Naomi Campbell colored girl. Um, these nuances exist. Um, let's see who else is a brown skin. I mean, there's me. Honestly, I think Halle Berry used to be a brown skin. And I don't think she, like, bleached herself anything or anything. But sometimes as you get older, you can get lighter. But, like, I think Halle was a true brown skin. I think, ooh, all of them Braxton girls. All of them uh, Braxton family value values. Tamar, Tawanda. Oh, Tawanda? I don't know. Maybe, maybe some of them uh, can qualify as dark. But I would say that, like, definitely... Tamar and Tony are, you know, brown skin peanut butter girls. Like literally, like you know, go look at a jar of Skippy of Jif, you know, like mm, peanut butter, right? Peanuts. Um, myself, I think I'm a pretty, uh, a pretty good example 
of, um, of what a brown skin is. Um, so I'll add some pictures of myself, of course. Um, y'all actually help me out with this. I noticed that people cast Alia as a light skinned girl, like now that they want to like make bio biopics of her. But I'm just like, Aliyah was definitely a brown skin. Like, like that was not like, but, but there are the people who would disagree, right? Like I can call her a peanut butter girl all day. And some people are like, light skin. I'm like, no, I, I, don't, I don't see what you see. I, I saw a brown skin girl. So um, y'all let me know, right? Because somebody who's not a brown skin girl would be like, like a Kelly Rowland or a Tika Sumter. Like, this is obviously, you know, the threshold of welcome to dark skinned, right? Um, and so as peanut butter girls, it's like, it's important to acknowledge the privilege that you have, but also like, you know, I don't know, I guess list yourself or identify correctly. Isn't, isn't that weird? I had a, I had a brown skinned guy come to my comment section one time and he was just like, man, I get called light skin and dark skin in the same day by different people. <laughs> and I'm like, that's how it is. And I was on YouTube telling people, oh, I remember I was on YouTube telling people because I would film in the shade or in the sunshine and my color would change. And I'm just like, not only am I a brown skin, but I have a thin undertone, right? I have a thin, pale undertone. Like the way you can tell about your undertone, you, whether it's neutral or, or warm, Get yourself some gold jewelry and some silver jewelry, some hoops. If you look better in silver hoops, you've got a cold undertone. If you look better in gold jewelry, you've got a warm undertone. Now, I'm, I've got a really cool undertone, right? So I can almost look ghostly if, you know, if the right light or the wrong light hits me. I can almost look ghostly and, and see through right? Because I've got a super cool undertone. Now, of course, if we're sitting in a dark room, that's not going to show up so much. But if there's a light on me, I might just fade away. Uh, I remember filming myself in my backyard and telling people, you know, I'm like similar to the skin color of A. Marie, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, there are these people who got mad and I'm like, I'm not trying to say like, I don't know. What, what am I saying? Oh, I know. Ananda Lewis is at the darker end of brown skin. So we've got Ananda, we've got A. Marie, and A. Marie has that whole black and Asian look I was talking about where sometimes, you know, half Asian black people come out really dark. Uh, whereas, you know, more often than not, a person who is half black and half white comes out, you know, pale more often than not. It doesn't mean that they're not right. Cause we have seen Halle Berry. I was for sure her mother was some kind of quadrone, octarone, something, but they're like, no chocolate. She's white. And I'm like, oh, okay. Whereas somebody like an Alicia Keys or T and Tamara, they are obviously, you know, red bone, yellow bone, things like this. What's that girl's name? Drea Michelle. That's obviously, you know, a red bone. Um, let me think. Uh, mul 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 mulatto and Saweetie, obviously, you know, between, you know, high yellow, yellow bone, red bone. Um, Beyonce is one of those light skinned people who can tan really hard, or at least definitely when she was younger. There is something, ladies, and y'all moms can comment below, but there's something about having children that will make your skin much lighter or much darker. There is something about having babies that will make your hair much more cor coarse or a looser curl pattern. I don't know what be going on with the hormones and the vitamins within, but that is a thing. And uh, Beyonce definitely, she's still her same overall color, but just a lighter version of it. And I think that that's natural. Let's see. I don't know where to put Rihanna, but I'm really grateful for her whole like Fenty 300 thing because I think, I think that's where brown skin lives. You're not 400s, you're not 200s. Like, you know, you, you live in the 300 section of the store. <laughs> Foundations. <laughs> um, 
and I don't know, like, it's the strangest thing in the world for me. Like, I, I, I mentioned that there was this uh, biracial YouTuber who told people I, I wanted to be her color. And I'm just like, have you seen the women in my palette? Good God, have you seen us? I mean, silky smooth peanut butter skin. Like, dude, we look like food. Like, people actually, like, want to eat us. Like, so, anyhow, I love my sisters and... um all my sisters, but uh, I meant that in specific to all my peanut butter girls who feel not so represented, sort of kind of in- invisible, sort of kind of like you don't belong anywhere. <laughs> like a confused mixed kid, oh, mesquin. Oh, why did I say that? So mesquin is an Arabic word. It means like a poor person, but in the context I said it, it's like, oh, poor you. Um, so I'm just going to fill this thing up with photos and see if I can light skin, dark skin, brown skin, you know, and, and highlight some peanut butter girls. I uploaded a short with just a room full. I mean, the room looked like heaven, a room full of peanut butter girls. And, um, yeah, so that's us. We exist. Hmm. Kiara Lachey. I wonder she's the like workout guru lady. I, ca- I can't say either one. I no. I think she's light skin. I think she's uh she's on that threshold of light skin. Yeah. She's she's more yellow than brown for sure. Um I don't know comment below ladies let me know. Uh I'm out of here. <laughs>